With 4.1 being released, Nuvolet just became available for gamers to pull. However, being released beside such a strong pyro DPS like Hu Tao, how would Nuvolet fare? And should you even pull for him? Let me give you my honest opinions to help you to decide. Before I continue, can I just say a huge thank you to all my fellow coins for helping us to reach 3000 subscribers, yay! I really am so appreciative of everyone here. If you haven't subscribed, do consider subscribing as I post regular Genshin Impact videos and you can also help us to get to our goal of 4000 subscribers. Thank you so much in advance. Without further ado, my name is Charge Coin, and let's begin the video. First, let's share about Nuvolet's kit. Please do note that his damage numbers might be low as I only have him at level 70 and his talents are all at level 6. Anyway, his elemental skill summons a waterfall that will deal AoE hydro damage based on his max HP and also generate 3 source water droplets. This also deals Numa damage. His elemental burst will also summon a large waterfall and deal AoE hydro damage. After a short interval, it will summon 2 more smaller waterfalls to deal AoE hydro damage and generate 6 source water droplets. Nuvolet's main source of damage comes from his charge attack. When you hold down his charge attack, he will begin charging to form a seal for a certain amount of time. In this charging phase, he can move around and absorb source water droplets which will increase the charging speed of the seal and heal him. If he release his charge attack before the seal is formed, he will just deal AoE hydro damage. If the seal is formed however, Nuvolet will unleash continuous AoE Hydro damage in a beam, similar to Final Fantasy XVI's Bahamut's attack. This will not consume any stamina and last 3 seconds. If his HP is above 50%, he will lose HP. For his Ascension Talent 1, different types of Hydro reactions caused will increase Nuvolet's charge attack damage up to 3 times at 110%, 125%, and 160%. Do note that you'll only get a stack for every different type of reaction cost, so just freeze for example will only get you one stack. The 160% boost to his charge attack is quite significant, so if you want to have that huge damage, do make sure to create 3 different types of hydro reactions. For his ascension talent 4, for every HP higher than 30% of his max HP, he will gain 0.6% hydro damage bonus up to a maximum of 30%. To summarize, his elemental skill and burst will deal hydro damage and generate droplets, while his charged attack will absorb these droplets to heal and deal damage when the seal is fully charged. As such, to use Nuvolet, you want to use his elemental skill or burst to first generate the source water droplets. Then, proceed to use his charged attacks to deal more damage. For his weapons, the 4 star HP weapon Prototype Ember will work well to boost his damage as he scales off HP. The Wisdiff will also work just to boost his crit damage. The 5 star standard banner weapon Lost Prayer to the Sacred Winds will also be beneficial to increase his crit rate, movement speed and elemental damage. Other than these, other HP boosting weapons and of course his signature weapon will work too. For artifacts, he will work best with the Merichase Hunter as it will increase his charge attack damage and also allow him to increase his crit rate when he loses HP. This will allow him to build more crit damage instead of crit rate. Another alternative is the Wanderer's Troop which will increase his charge attack damage by 35%. For Nuvolet, being a Hydro DPS has many viable teams that will work with him. Moreover, his Ascension Talent basically recommends you to build him with Hydro Reactions in mind to get more damage. I would like to share 3 main teams that I believe will work the best. First, we have a vaporized team with Nuvolet, Xiangling, Zhongli and Kazuha. Nuvolet first uses his skill to apply Hydro, followed by Zhongli using his skill to generate a shield, apply Geo and also create Hydro Crystalline Shards to activate his first level of charge attack boost. Next, Kazuha can swirl Hydro with his skill to shred the enemy's Hydro resistance which also activates Nuvolet's second charge attack boost. Xiangling then uses a burst to apply Pyro which vaporizes for Nuvolet's third charge attack boost. Kazuha then uses his burst to swirl Pyro and Nuvolet finally uses his burst 
and unleashes his charged attacks to deal massive damage. You can also swap out Zhongli for another shielder like Layla if you so desire. If you don't want to have so many reactions, a Hyper Bloom team with Nahida, Neuvelet, Beito, and Cookie will work well too. Hyper Bloom is already strong, but with Neuvelet's strong hydro damage, enemies get downed even quicker. Nahida will apply Dendro, Beito will use her burst, Kuki will use a skill for electro application, and Neuvelet to trigger blooms and drive Hyper Bloom. The really cool thing about Beito's burst is that she can provide resistance to interruption, and that her burst will also apply electro for charged attacks. Just build her with elemental mastery, and you'll see Neuvelet doing long distance Hyper Bloom. If you don't have Nahida or Beito, Dendro Traveler, Kole, Yao Yao, or Baizu will work. Baizu also works really well to shield, heal, and also reapply Dendro for the team. Finally, we have a free team with Ayaka, Neuvelet, Kazuha, and Shenhe. Shenhe will boost Ayaka's damage, and Kazuha will swirl Hydro and Cryo, while Ayaka will use her burst. Neuvelet will apply Hydro and create the freeze reaction. Nuvelet will become a secondary DPS here, which honestly works well too. Now that we have covered Nuvelet's kit, builds, and teams, let's move on to talk about his pros. Firstly, with how strong hydro reactions are, and with Nuvelet being an on field hydro applicator, it creates opportunities for so many different types of team compositions. For example, previously for Hyper Bloom teams, you will use characters like Sing Chiu or Ye Lan, and Nahida be the on field driver. With Nuvelet, he becomes the on field driver instead to deal the damage and also trigger reactions. What this also means is that Sing Chiu and Ye Lan are now freed from the Hyper Bloom team, and now other characters who need them, such as Hu Tao, can finally get her best team in the Abyss. Secondly, there hasn't really been many Hydro on field DPSs. The last one was Ayato and was released in 2.5. That said, Ayato wasn't even that strong due to the ICD that he has on his normal attacks, which makes the strongest Hydro DPS child who was released in 1.1. Now in 4.1, we finally have another strong Hydro DPS that doesn't have insanely long cooldowns. Thirdly, being a Hydro character, pairing Nuvelet with another Hydro character like Barbara or Kokomi will also activate the Hydro Resonance to increase the party's max HP by 25%, thereby increasing Nuvelet's overall damage as well. This is unlike a character like Hu Tao, who is Pyro but benefits from a high HP and as such needs two other Hydro characters to activate the resonance, which will limit team slots. Finally, as Nuvelet generates source water droplets which he can absorb to heal himself, he becomes self-sufficient and need not rely on another healer, unlike Linny, who definitely needs one in order to reach 5 prop surplus stacks to deal more damage. Moving on to the cons, firstly, as Nuvelet's damage comes from his charge attack, which is quite reliant on his elemental skill and burst to use quickly without charging. If you get the rotations wrong, or his skill and burst aren't available, you'll be stuck with his long charging animation, which isn't good for anyone. Secondly, even though he can move while charging, or using his charged attacks, he doesn't really get resistance to interruption. As such, he may get knocked out of his charged attacks, forcing you to charge again. You may want to pair him with a shielder like Zhongli, so that his charging and attacks do not get interrupted. So, should you pull for Nuvelet? Yes, I do think so. He's so far the most flexible Hydro DPS, allowing him to fit in multiple teams and bringing former less viable characters like Beito to the forefront. Also, given the new HP meta in Fontaine, he'll definitely be a good character to have, especially when Furina releases. That said, please watch out for his skill and burst cooldowns. You don't really want to be caught without them. So, will you be pulling for him? Do let me know down in the comments below. If you found today's video helpful, or you just enjoyed it in general, do consider leaving a like, comment and subscribing as it will really help out this small channel to reach the goal of 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much! If you'd like to see how you can create a team to 36 star the abyss, 
please click the video on the right. If you would like to see my other Genshin Impact videos, please click the playlist on the left. Once again, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!